Now, a little-known part of London's history was marked today with the unveiling of a plaque to this man, Sir Thomas Pearson Frank. He was an engineer who saved London from drowning more than a hundred times during World War II. He secretly fixed flood defences along the Thames that had been damaged by intense bombing raids. Gustav Milne, an archaeologist from the Museum of London, now takes up his story. This is a sliver of granite which has been forced into the ground by the strength of the blast. So this is the blast field. It must have been a good thousand pound high explosive bomb. Just as well it missed the Houses of Parliament. I'm standing on the Thames foreshore right next to the Victorian embankment wall which should be made of granite. But if you look here, there's a great hole in the wall which is made of shattered concrete. That hole in the wall has been rapidly infilled and we know that that was done during the Blitz. When London was about to be flooded, we found that this was the brainchild of a most amazing character called Sir Thomas Pearson Frank. Sir Thomas Pearson Frank was a very great engineer who was responsible for protecting London from the floods during the war. This was uh, extremely secret, both from the point of view of the morale of the public and also from letting the, uh, the enemy know exactly what, uh, how vulnerable London was. He set up rapid response teams during the war to repair all the breaches in the river wall that had been caused by the Luftwaffe bombing raids. There was 122 holes in the river wall. Any one of those could have inundated a vast area of low-lying London. Everybody praises Winston Churchill with his big cigar and his big speeches, but Sir Thomas Pearson Frank got down to work and saved London not with cigars, but with shuttered concrete. Gustav Milne with that fascinating story.